In this video, you can see how orthodontics can help in situations involving bone loss. Tooth movement in such cases can generate newly formed bone in both height and width. Thus, orthodontic treatment may be used for implant site development before prostodontic procedures. This individual presents with vertical bone loss due to the ankylosis of deciduous molars. Bone in both height and width can be generated by moving the premolar backward. Rebonding with twin braces was necessary for better root angulation control. Mandibular braces were bonded with overcorrection of the premolar root angulation. Pushing the mandibular premolar backward helped generate bone in the area of the missing tooth germs. During the distalization of the premolar, contact occurred between the hanging palatal cusp of the maxillary second premolar, stopping the lower premolar movement. This required additional torque correction of the maxillary premolar. After the torque correction of 215, the lower premolar moved to its new position. Note the newly developed bone height. This was confirmed by the OPG and some additional root angulation corrections were made. The implant and a temporary crown were then placed. This treatment was completed in 30 months and the braces were removed. A year after the treatment at retention checkup, a final crown was already in place. If you enjoy this kind of content, you may want to subscribe to our channel. After the torque correction of 215, the lower premolar moved to its new position. Note the newly developed bone. This was confirmed by the OPG and some additional root angulation corrections were made. The implant and a temporary crown were then placed. This treatment was completed in 30 months and the braces were removed. A year after the treatment at retention checkup, a final crown was already in place. Thanks for watching.